Alright, hey, we got an update slash unboxing video today. So I just got back from Target and I picked up one of these 3DS XL Xerneas Evil Tall themed. Uh, they actually have a blue one and a red one that's coming out in the US. In Japan, it's blue only plus the gold one. But uh, I need to do an update video, so I figured we would do an unboxing of this since it just came out today. Maybe people want to see it and see what it looks like inside and stuff. I actually don't know what's in the interior of it. Um, you know, we do have the. 3DS that I got on launch day, and uh, my apologies for this video being super blurry. I'm having to use the webcam because my camcorder is really stupid and its battery sucks. Uh, and uh, un and unlike the DS, you cannot charge it while you're playing, apparently. Uh, but anyway, yes, yeah, so we've had this 3DS for quite a while. Uh, it's nice and all. We have the beautiful Jasmine um, decal that I put in here, but it has a problem. And the problem is that it is very glossy. Glossy is very bad, if you guys didn't know. Glossy makes fingerprints, and it's very yucky, and yeah, it's all nice and blue, but it makes my hands feel oily. Um, I swear, the thing exudes oil, even though I know that's not possible. But uh, anyway, um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Um, it's probably going to look like totally bad, because it's going to be so blurry. Um, we also, while we were there, pre-ordered... Oh, sorry, I'm back the mic. Um, while we were there, pre-ordered X and Y, finally, and they totally did not have these sweet little pins last time I was there. It's like little, uh, butterfly, is that what it's called? The butterfly attachment pins? Totally awesome. Uh, they were definitely not there, uh, last time I checked a couple months ago. So we're gonna open those little pins, I guess, too, a little bit later. But let's get to opening this. So... Looks like on the back they've got the uh, starters and silhouettes on the back. So let's get this bad boy open. Uh, oh no, no, no. These... Good, we have scissors. Scissors we have. Um, there's little tapey things, and actually, I have better scissors for this. We like to keep these boxes in as pristine condition as we can because I'm a hoarder. And yeah. I think I've still got my. at least my Game Boy Advance SP box. I don't know if I have the original Game Boy Advance or not. And yeah, I don't think I have my Game Boy Color box. Um, I, I, I like to keep stuff that is uh, completely. usually pretty pointless to keep. Uh, that's what being a hoarder is, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, hopefully that got that open now. Um, yep, there we go. Alright, which way is it gonna come out? Is it gonna be facing this way, or on the back? What do you guys think? That looked like one big massive blur. That's terrible. Uh, anyway. Let's pull this out this way. We opened it on the evil tall side. Alright, sweet, we got more AR cards. I keep forgetting where my, uh, other ones are. So I think this is the same adapter, right? AC adapter? As the normal. This is the first time I've actually had an XL. Um, yes, same AC adapter as the DSi and the 3DS normal. That's sweet. We got another one of those. Um, lots of stuff. True story. True story, guys. The first... Holy crap. Different languages that are not English. Um, true story, guys. The first time I got my 3DS, I went and got it at Best Buy, actually. Um, unfortunately, I now live further from Best Buy, so we settle for Target instead. Um, I actually sat down and read this entire manual for the 3DS. Um, we're not going to do the same for the 3DS XL. I think I know how to use it. I think I'm pretty sure it's the same like software and everything. It's just different hardware. So let's actually open the darn thing. And why is this? Why is this segment here as such? It's like raised. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get the thing open. And yeah, this thing is pretty big, uh, considerably, considerably heavier too, as you would imagine, um, compared to that. Um, it's in this nice, nice dust. It's gonna get all dusty and stuff now, but it's mate, so it's not gonna matter. Okay, actually, this is kind of like glossy, but the interior, is mate, I guess. All right, so this is it. Look, it looks wow, it looks even better. That is a nice shade of blue. Um, I don't know. I, I think I've seen. Is that gonna is that gonna smudge? I'm gonna put fingerprints. Um, the lighting in this room is really bad, by the way. Um, I have no overhead light, so that's another reason I w I'm not using the my old my uh, camcorder. 
um, web good old webcam <laughs> uh, manual focus ring webcam has uh, nice lighting options um, you probably cannot tell there's a nice X and Y right there I know if you look at the actual pictures of it uh, online you can probably see it a lot better uh, this thing looks gorgeous in person that's a that's like a beautiful shade of blue um, like the picture on the box does not do it justice um, it looks gorgeous wow that is just beautiful um, do I have yes, I do as I know sometimes systems look like different under different lights especially the well you know what's right here the uh, the Game Boy Advance SP um, I know it looks purple in some lights and blue in others but uh yeah this thing is absolutely gorgeous um, love that shade of blue and uh there's also blue on the back and if you look really close you can see the Kalos starters let me bring them up without looking like crap nope you can see the uh, the Kalo starters there, Chespin, if I can hold the thing steady, Chespin, Finnegan, and Froki, and yeah, the freaking stylus is, thank you, it's on, <laughs> it is there instead. Um, so yeah, let's open this up, um, I don't know what it's going to look like inside, I'm just going to assume it's going to be black and black like the normal blue 3DS, but here we go, and it is black and black, alright. So, nah, pretty much what exactly what I expected, um, you know, would have been nice if it was blue on the inside like this one was, although this top part I believe was originally black. Um, so I don't know, I might decal this up in some ways, but uh, yeah, it looks, looks fantastic. I am going to do a system transfer by the way, and it looks like there's also a um, an extra notch. Um, you can see, uh, you know, with, with this thing, it's kind of, eh, it's closed, it's open, and then it's really open if you want to snap it like all the way back. but. Uh, yeah, this thing looks like it's got a three hinge, or at least two. So it's got this, which is kind of new. This is kind of nice if you're uh, using like a computer. Oh crap! I got a screen protector too. I don't even think about that. Okay, we'll have to get that later. Um, then would be standard position you would use to play, I guess. And then yes, it can still kind of snap flat. So this looks more like the uh, the two DS. These screens are gonna get so smudged. Oh my gosh! I need to get screen protector. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, we also have the. My favoriteest thing, besides the thing being Mate, or Matt, I think it's actually pronounced Matt, but it's got the it's got two T's and an E, so I pronounce it Mate. Um, the original 3DS, you guys may or may not know, has little. Oh my gosh, these are the worst. That's not gonna help any. Uh, these are the like the worst start select buttons in the history of mankind. Um, first off, the select button is not possible to hit with your right thumb. That's annoying. Um, but more importantly, um, it's like a membrane stretched over a capacitor or something like that. Um, it's not even a real, like this is a solid piece of plastic membrane, like it sucks. It's stupid. But this, um, you guys probably cannot see that, maybe you can see it if I shine light on it. Um, this actually has buttons. These are like actual tactile buttons. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, circle, circle pad's the same size, right? I think so. It just looks comparatively smaller because the thing is huge. Um, the buttons, oh my gosh, are matte. They are not glossy. That is so good. The power button is in the same place, actually. Um, one of the most annoying things about the... This is turning into a 3DS versus 3DS XL video. Um, so, you know, Cooper likes to rock the old... Uh, slash Cooper showing off all his systems. Uh, uh, Cooper likes to rock the old original DS. You know, this is what we play Diamond on, but uh, we can't play X and Y on this. And this thing has the stylus on, you know, the right hand side, which is it's right handed, so that's very nice. The 3DS, however, has the stylus on the left hand side, which is very vexing. So here they decided to cater to right handed people even more and put it where the DS Lite I and IXL I believe are which is on the right so you can actually pull the thing out and it's nice lengthy stylus so they got rid of the whole uh, telescoping stylus thing which yeah I play with this stylus way too much especially like in the top end that's stupid uh, <laughs> but anyway so we're gonna turn this thing on does it have any battery charge? it might 
Uh, like I said, we are going to be doing a system transfer, so I'm not going to like do anything with it. But uh, just look how gorgeous these screens are. Oh, where's the 3D slider? Make sure, yeah, no, turn that off. That needs to not be on. 3D is terrible. Select the language. How about we're going to do system transfer, so I don't care. Um, you guys can't even see that, which is good because I'm not going to show it to you. But anyway, uh, yeah, it looks gorgeous. Unfortunately, it's all black interior, um, so it's not like nice and blue or red. But, uh, oh well, I guess, I mean, I mean, granted, there's not much, like, space around it to decal up. Like, compared to this thing, which, you know, has a fairly wide thing right there, uh, not much to do here, actually. So, uh, yeah, and another nice thing that I like is if you compare the D-pads, this thing's D-pad is notoriously really bad. Um, if you compare the D-pad, I don't know if you, can you see the D-pad on the XL? Um... Well, there now you can it's glary but uh you can see you have a lot more real estate um beneath the d-pad so that's going to be very much more like very helpful for playing virtual console games like this you guys ever held a 3ds like this it sucks holding it holding this uh considerably better not you know ideal you'd like to be able to have it more up there but or have the buttons further down i guess but uh certainly way better to have that extra little bit right in a second probably at least an extra centimeter and that really is going to make playing stuff with a d-pad a lot easier stuff like shantae which you guys should all uh all go get it's, it's an awesome game and oh my gosh the buttons the buttons the buttons the buttons they are not glossy they are not glossy they are mats and they are awesome so other than that we have uh sd card got moved somewhere i moved on this side actually it's uh it's on the right side it's on the left side on the original DS, 3DS. So yeah, um, yeah, thing looks absolutely beautiful. Um, if you are interested in getting a 3DS and you like Pokemon's, then I would definitely recommend this. I'm assuming the red one, which is apparently outside of Japan exclusive, uh, Japan does not get the red one. Um, I'd probably recommend that one as well. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't seen enough. 3ds xls in real life to tell but i think this blue does look a little bit better to me to be honest so um yeah and this is not a pack-in so this is just the same price as any other 3ds xl it's uh 200 bucks um but yeah um looking forward to this and this is what you guys are going to see uh x and y content from uh from this channel so yeah oh what are the shoulder buttons the shoulder buttons, nice. shoulder buttons are they are pretty okay. I know on the this one they feels like they raise up a little bit. Um, yeah, they like they're like they jut up like two millimeters or something. On this they jut up maybe like one millimeter. Eh, I don't know. The the overall larger largerness of the system makes it feel a little bit better. But anyway, so this thing's awesome. Uh, totally recommend it. Um, obviously the screens are considerably bigger if you guys didn't know uh uh yeah kind of dwarfs dwarfs the competition i guess there's also the uh 2ds that'll be coming out so if you're really on a budget um then you can settle for that one as well um apparently like not even all of x and y is going to be in in 3d um like only the battle scenes and the uh the intro so yeah certainly 2ds uh if you don't care about 3d as i don't um, if they had had a Pokemon 2DS, I probably would have gotten that one instead of this. But, uh, yeah, I don't. I never had the DSi Excel, so I'm looking forward to playing some games on big screens. Uh, should be pretty neat. Uh, but anyway, uh, while we're there, we also got X and Y. Pre-order bonuses for Pokemon games have been, like, non-existent lately. So, uh, yeah, Target is about the best I've found. If, unless you're in the UK, and then you can get those sweet little novelty uh, game holder Pokeballs. So definitely get those if you're in the UK for some reason. Uh, for, for some reason, uh, yes, I'm pretty sure people, maybe, maybe people from overseas watch videos here. Uh, but yeah, Target has the, I'm not sure if this actually comes off the price of the game or not, but either way, you get a $5 gift card, so, you know, at the very least it's a net $4, I guess, so I guess that's better than some pre-order bonuses. And apparently they have these little sick little pins, which, uh, you know, a lot of, actually quite a few, scissors, again, 
Uh, quite a few products have been like cutting figures for pins, especially like TCG, like the uh, Red Genesec box in TCG. It's got a uh, it's got a Red Genesec pin instead of a Red Genesec figure, like most of them used to have. But uh, you know, not so bad, not so bad. And uh, that is metal, yes, metallic pins, pretty sweet. That's uh, pretty nice. Both of the uh, the cover legendaries. Unfortunately, this video is going to be 480p, guys. I'm sorry, and it's going to be super blurry because I can't hold stuff still to save my life. But, uh, yeah, I like those pins very much. Uh, it's very, very nice. Um, so, yeah, that's the Pokemon X and Y 3DS XL. And, uh, yeah, looking, uh, it's, it's going to be... Definitely looks beautiful. Um, well, very justified. I mean... Yes, I know, it may seem wasteful to have two, th two 3DSs, but guys, 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 we have to trade. We have to trade, you don't understand. We have to tra be able to trade between X and Y, because obviously I'm getting both. And yes, there is Pokemon Bank, but uh, in the words of my friend Alakazam180, those Kadabras aren't going to evolve themselves, you know. you got to be able to trade. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for that segment in the video, and I guess we're going to run over some uh, channel update stuff really quick. Not really quick, probably like... Watch, watch this take like 10 minutes. Um, Alright, so we have... Um, uh, right now on the channel we have Mega Man Unlimited. Uh, as being, that's our current LP, and that's going to continue on. Uh, we're actually going to have like continuous stream of content, I think, which is pretty cool. Um, one, uh, one bit a day. Uh, so our final series of 4th Gen Battles is not really a series. It's just a... Uh, I probably have about 10 to 12 videos in, from, from the bin. Uh, that I'm gonna dig up and select about five to seven of those um, and we're just gonna yep do our normal thing you know uh, narrate all that good stuff and uh, that's gonna be starting up October 7th which should be uh, right after the end of Mega Man Unlimited um, and the final video final fortune video that's gonna be posted on YouTube for the rest of your life uh, is gonna be posted October 11th the day before X and Y hits and uh, it's going to be an epic, epic game uh, with none other than Diamond Brother, the May Car Locomotive. Um, that's going to be an intense game. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, it li it literally lasted for three hours. Um, and I, I first did not want to speed it up at all, but uh, so it it's probably going to be like a 45 minute battle video, so be, be prepared for that. Um, as far as X and Y stuff goes, um, I know probably many of you want me to do a blind Nuzlocke. Uh, I'm kind of off the Nuzlocke train, um, because I have too much of a habit of grinding. Uh, so we're going to do something a little bit different, a different thing that I think is actually challenging instead of just grind until you win, uh, which is something that, um, Andrew from TPX likes to do, which is, uh, no centers run. Uh, I could do no centers and no marts, but I want to possibly get past the, the second gym. So uh, we're just going to do no centers. Um, I'm not really going to call it blind, per se, since I haven't been, like, like I've been reading spoilers and leaks and stuff. Uh, but it will be the first playthrough nonetheless, and uh, we'll just continue with that until I game over and can't use a center. I'm not sure what all the rules are on that, but uh, I will get with him and figure that, uh, out what we're going to be doing. Um, after that is over, we're gonna, I'm going to do uh, Rocco-chan. It's another Mega Man clone, so to speak. It's another really good one. Um, I'm probably going to be doing it on 1 HP mode because uh, it's actually really nice. It gives you infinite lives on 1 HP mode, so uh, I like like that game a lot. I've already beaten it, but uh, we'll go ahead and play it again, I guess, because uh, we will. And after that, we will have X and Y Wi-Fi battles, which I've, we've been looking forward to. Um, you know, we did not do any black and white Wi-Fi battles at all. I don't, I don't think I actually did any at all. Um, I did some real life black and white but uh at comic con and stuff but that was it um so i am totally like out of out of uh out of the loop with like what was even really that viable in fifth so it's gonna be interesting uh kind of jumping really straight from fourth into sixth um you know we did get the news a while back of pokemon bank i'm a little bit upset that we're gonna be able to port stuff in from fifth you know so people are gonna be able to still you know Pokesav and whatever else. Um, supposedly it's going to be hack checked, but if people can fool the VGC, they can probably fool Pokemon Bank as well. But uh, we'll see. At the least, people can like get clones of legit pokes and stuff. So a uh, little bit upset about that, but eh, you know, hopefully they'll add enough stuff to help the legit players like myself 
then it won't really matter that much. So, you know, we're not going to be too anal about, uh, oh, oh it's got to be legit. Um, it's just going to be a thing that we're going to impose on ourselves. But more importantly than that, um, also as for how these are going to be recorded, um, I'm using it right now. Uh, <laughs> it's blurry right now, but it's uh, better for Wi-Fi battles, that's for sure. Um, the good old webcam, I'm still trying to upgrade to something else, but until I do, um, we're going to be using the same old web webcam uh, and everything you guys expect. Emote strips, um, I guess we can't really use seals, we'll have to see what 6th gen gives us instead of seals. Um, but yeah, same old webcam, emote strips, all the good stuff, all the, all the fixings that uh, you guys have come to expect from 4th gen Wi-Fi battles will continue on into 6th. Um, and of course, we're still going to be rolling uh, Team Mega for at least one more gen. Uh, my my goal this generation is to actually make all the Robot Masters. And uh, in seventh gen, I can start on Team Mega X, but uh, don't hold me to that. Um, yeah, so the first uh, series I'm going to post it's probably because you know we're going to have to shake stuff out like what what's good. You know, there's going to be new new pokes, obviously, uh, new abilities, moves, and all that all that jazz. Um, Probably I'm not going to get any actual uploads until likely December. I'm going to have to have time to breed a team as well, as well, you know. And uh, I have like nothing on 5th, so I'm going to have to be like getting all the power items and EVing and all that stuff. Uh, it's going to have to all start from scratch virtually as well. Since you can't port items from 4th to 5th, thanks 5th gen. Um, so yeah, it's hopefully going to be coming up sometime in December. Um, Pokemon Bank does not actually launch until December 25th. So I would like to try to get a series in with that, because that's going to be, you know, um, as far as I know, there's no, like, working flash card. There may be an action replay, but, uh, you know, there's, hopefully it's going to be a relatively clean, as far as, like, hacked pokes metagame, um, up until December 25th when people can start slinging stuff in from 5th. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. It may or may not work. Um, it's kind of got gonna kind of be coordinated with uh, Maycar as well, so we'll have to see how uh, that works out with his end. Um, but the probably one of the biggest things we're gonna try to do is, you know, this is the first time we've had simultaneous simultaneous releases. Um, you know, for fifth gen, or for, well, I guess fourth gen, you know, like the, everyone had to had to kind of figure it out. Uh, go watch Xerxes's uh, six year anniversary series. Uh, it's an awesome series, by the way. If you guys were not for some reason. Um, you know, 4th gen was kind of the dawn of all the Wi-Fi stuff. Um, but then 5th gen, it was a different animal. You know, this stuff was already established. Uh, Smogon had already kind of, like, taken over as this is the tiering authority. And, uh, whereas at the dawn of 4th, you know, it was, like, different communities had different tiers. So one of the things we're actually going to try to do is the TPX community, which, uh, you know, we're, we're reduced to a Skype chat now. We're going to see if we can fix that, but, uh, maybe, but, um... We're actually going to make TPX tiers, so, you know, we're, uh, at least for the battles on this channel, we are not going to be going by smog on tiers. Um, you know, if, if they can't figure things out like Blaziken and Speed Boost, which they, they may have actually figured that out by now, but even so, uh, it's just such a point of ridicule. Um, and now we're going to have stuff like Mega Pokemon with Mega Stones, you know, is he holding the Mega Stone, and you know, all this stuff. Um, you know, is the, is the Mega Poke banned? Is the regular Poke banned because of the Mega Poke? You know, it's just... Too much stuff, I feel like, for Smogon to figure out. Um, too much stuff for them to screw up on, and we feel like we can do it better. So, maybe some hubris, but uh, I think we can do it better. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, we're um, probably going to tr try to get a new chat. I'm going to have to talk with Blah about that, Super Blah 411. Good buddy. Um, see if we can get something worked out for that, because we're going to need uh, more people able to play these. And certainly you guys are welcome to PM me for challenges as well. Um, you know, that allow that information, obviously the games are not out yet, so uh, we don't know what's going to be what tier. Um, we're probably going to go with tiers like A, B, C, or S, A, B, C, D, E, if needed, um, as opposed to O, U, 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 N, U, because obviously we're, they're not going to be use-based. Um, we're going to actually, shocker of shockers, look at the pokes and analyze, oh, and see how good they are, you know? Like, actually look at them objectively and subjectively and reach a consensus based on that. Crazy crazy idea, huh? Um, rather than turning it into a popularity contest on a simulator. Uh, that should be interesting, too. But anyway, um, it's going to about wrap it up. Uh, so just to hit the high points again, this thing's beautiful. Um, Final Fortune Battle's coming up in a week or two. X and, or, I don't know if it's going to be X or Y. It's going to be one or the other, I'm not sure. But uh, X or Y, it's going to be a, a blind... 
no Pokemon Center's run as far as I can go. And then after that we'll have another Mega Man-ish game for you guys to enjoy me dying out a lot. <laughs> and uh, then after that, uh, might have something else up between then and X and Y battles. But yeah, we're going to be breeding X and Y team and really excited for, uh, for this generation to come out. I'm um, just going to take it, you know, 5th gen I was really hesitant on stuff like team reveal. Um, with this, I'm just gonna kind of roll with the punches, take it as it goes. Um, they're finally throwing us a bone with EV training with the uh, whatever these mini games are. So uh, they're finally throwing us a bone as far as that goes, and being able to actually look and check and see what they are. That's pretty sweet. So uh, definitely looking forward to this. I uh, hope you guys are too. That'll wrap it up for this video. Um, and yeah, later days.